you ever dread going to the DMV and say, well, I'm just there spending, I'm there spending two or three hours of wasted time, something simple like renewing your license, uh, turning in plates, renewing registration. I'm going to give you some tips to make your experience take up much less time and have a great experience at the DMV. Yeah, at the DMV. So, as promised, I have some tips for you to ace your time at the DMV. So, here's one. Set an appointment. Set a point, set an appointment. You're never going to get ahead on anything unless you just set an appointment. I don't know why now these days and times you think you're going to just walk in everywhere and you're going to be first. <laughs> it's not happening. I've seen the DMV have an express lane, so to speak, right? Quote, unquote, express lane. And people will think they're going to come out off the street and go straight to express and get in and out. Nah, nah, buddy, not happening. Because you got not only people that have appointments, you got people that just like uh, they're ahead of you. <laughs> Not going down like that. So, your best bet, set an appointment for anything you got to do. Especially if you got more than one thing to do. I don't know why anybody will put themselves in a situation like going to sit somewhere. You already know how the DMV is already. Most people there are not user friendly. So, here it is. You're going to go in there. You got three and four things to do. And you're not going to make an appointment or at least have your paperwork filled out. I skipped ahead. That's the next thing. Have your paperwork done. Don't go in there, sit on that long line, all for them to tell you, fill out these papers. You don't want that. You don't want that. What you need to do is find out exactly it is that you need to have done and completed. Fill it out, get it done, bring it in there completed. Oh, set that appointment, have your appointment set, and then you have your paperwork done. So now when they call your number, you've got 90% of your day done. Everything is done already. All you gotta do is go up there, have them verify some things, maybe that's about it. But you're done. You're done. The drama is over. The storm is over. You don't have to sit there and deal with all of the the zoo-like characteristics that go on in the DMV. Why? When I moved to a new state, I did my registration and my license and got plates and all that. All in one day. All in one day, one visit. I set an appointment. I had my stuff filled out. I have my documents. Here's the third part. Get your documents together. Just going in there and saying, hey, I'm here. I'm John. John Doe. Here. That's not going to work. There's plenty of John Does. We need to verify which John Doe you are. So, just as I'm discovering now, uh, there's people out here that have my whole name now. My first and last name together. So now I'm starting to use my middle name, which I can despise, but I'm going to start using my middle name because guess what? One of those people that's using my full name, that have my full name, has a criminal record. That's a whole other story. So identifying yourself, verifying things is very, extremely important. So let's say you got to get uh, a license. I think it's six points if I'm not mistaken. You need six points to get your license. Those six points consist of a uh, social security card, a uh, birth certificate, two proofs of address, and it may be one more thing or two more things. Not sure what those are, but pretty much you have those things, you should be straight. If you already have a license and you move it to another state, your license counts for about 90% of that stuff. So you bring that, you bring your birth certificate, bring your social security card, and the two proofs of like where you live, verification. 
So that can be a bill. When I say a bill, it could be any bill. As long as it's a bill with your name on it showing you live there. So it could be the cell phone bill. It could be the cable bill. It could be your, um, your rent. Anything. I don't understand why people go through so much with this stuff. Because it's, it's so self-explanatory. It's really self-explanatory. And then like you got people that say, Whoa, no, I don't want to set an appointment. All that computer stuff is too much. You ain't going to get away from all the computer stuff. Actually, it's getting worse. I don't know if you've been watching. The computer situation is getting worse. So, it's either you're going to get on that train or you're going to get left behind. But, you don't have to dwell totally into the whole computer game. Just get into some of it. Use the parts of the computer game that work for you, that help. That's what you want to do. Setting appointments. Uh, using the computer for things that are necessary. Those are things you want to do. But, I mean, like, you know, the AI and all that junk, that's another story. I'm not into that. But don't just rule computers out and say, I'm going to just do the traditional thing, just sit there and waste my time. You could be doing something else product, more productive with your life. Come on. Nobody wants to do that. Set you an appointment, and get in there, and get out. That's what you do. Hopefully... I've gave you enough tips on helping you out with your DMV experience. If there's anything further, feel free to ask me a question in the comment section. I will respond. And with that said, health, wealth, success.